H N A C A. At first glance, they look like random codes, but they're not. These are the identities of real elements hidden in stars, oceans, bones, even your DNA. This isn't just chemistry, it's a mission. A mission to decode the first 20 elements one by one before the next operation begins. Case file loaded, let's begin. The idea of using symbols for elements goes way back, but it was the Swedish chemist Jan Jacob Berzelius who came up with the system we still use today. In the early 1800s, he began using the first one or two letters of each element's Latin name as its symbol. A simple idea, but it made chemistry easier to write, read, and share no matter where you were in the world. Each element has a name and a unique chemical symbol. That symbol is either one letter like H for hydrogen or two letters like HE for helium. The first letter is always uppercase, and if there's a second letter, it's always lowercase. Case sensitivity really matters. Take CO and CO, for example. C with a lowercase O stands for cobalt, a metal element. But C followed by an uppercase O means carbon monoxide, a dangerous gas made of carbon and oxygen atoms. See the difference? Mixing up uppercase and lowercase completely changes the meaning. And while some symbols are straightforward, like C for carbon and CA for calcium, others trace back to Latin, like Na for sodium from natrium or K for potassium from kalium. These older names might seem unfamiliar, but they are not to chemistry's deep roots in ancient languages. So where do we start? With the first 20 elements of the periodic table. Why this 20? Because they're the building blocks of life, materials, and so many reactions you'll come across in chemistry and beyond. To make them easier to learn, we'll break them into four manageable sets. And for each set, you'll get a clever memory trick to help it stick. Ready for your first element mission? Let's dive in. To help you remember the first five elements of the periodic table, picture this simple scene. Harry helped Lily be brave. Each bold letter in that sentence stands for an element. H for hydrogen, HE for helium, LI for lithium, BE for beryllium, and B for boron. Let's begin with the very first element in the universe, the one that started it all, hydrogen. Hydrogen is the universe's lightest and by far the most common element. It's what fuels stars, it powers rockets, and when it bonds with oxygen, voila, something essential, water. Helium is a colorless, non-flammable gas and yep, it's even lighter than air. It lifts balloons high into the sky, pulls MRI machines, and helps deep-sea divers breathe safely even way down under pressure. Lithium is a soft silvery metal, and yep, it reacts fast when it touches water. It powers our rechargeable devices, drive electric vehicles forward, and even helps stabilize moods in mental health treatment. Beryllium is a lightweight strong metal, dangerous if inhaled, sure, but absolutely essential in science and tech. It reflects neutrons in nuclear reactors reinforces advanced aerospace materials, and even allows X-rays to pass through during medical imaging. Boron is a tough black metalloid, part metal, part non-metal. Pretty unique, right? It boosts the cleaning power of detergents, strengthens glass that can handle serious heat, and helps control nuclear reactions inside reactors. That's the first five, each powerful in its own way. Now it's time to decode the next set of elements. New names, new uses, and another memory trick to lock them in. To remember elements 6 to 10, just think cat snap on fluffy neckties. Each word's bold letter matches an element symbol. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon. Let's start with element 6, carbon. Carbon is the foundation of life. It's everywhere. Seriously. From pencil graphite to diamonds, same element totally different forms, it fuels our world and forms the backbone of every living molecule. Nitrogen makes up most of the air we breathe, about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. That's a lot. It's essential for plant growth, and in its liquid form, 
It's used to instantly freeze food and medical samples. Oxygen, now this one you definitely know. It's the gas we breathe every second. But it's not just in the air. It also fuels fires, supports life in water, and makes a big part of rock and minerals, from quartz to sand to the crust beneath our feet. Fluorine is a pale yellow gas, and get this, it's the most reactive element in the entire table. You'll find it in toothpaste, nonstick pans, and even some high-tech cooling systems. Neon, you've seen it glowing in bright red-orange signs. It's an inert gas, which means it doesn't react easily. Perfect for advertising lights, cryogenic tech, and high-voltage indicators. That's 10 elements down and the periodic table is just getting started. Let's move on to the next 5. New elements, new roles, and yep, another clever memory trick to help you remember them. Elements 11 through 15, no worries, this one's easy to lock in. Just remember, Naomi's magical aluminum sink pops. Weird sentence? Sure, but super useful. Each word's bold letter gives you a clue. Sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, and phosphorus. Let's start with sodium. Sodium is a highly reactive metal, so reactive it's never found on its own in nature. You'll find it in table salt, lighting up street lamps, and helping your nerves and muscles do their job every second. Magnesium is a gray-white light metal, vital for both life and industry. It's found in supplements, inside green plants, and even packed into fireworks that light up the sky. Aluminum is light, strong, and built to last. It resists rust and can be recycled over and over again. You'll see it shaping planes, cars, packaging, and a ton of everyday essentials. Silicon is a dark gray metalloid that powers modern tech. You'll find it at the heart of computer chips, soaking up sunlight in solar panels, and even hiding in plain sight in the sand that becomes glass. Phosphorus, yeah, it's the one that can glow faintly in the dark. But more importantly, it plays a vital role in life. You'll find it in fertilizers, your DNA and bones, cleaning products, and yep, even and matches. That's 15 elements decoded and the mission's hitting up. The next 5, let's lock them in with one last memory trick. To remember elements 16 to 20, try this. Sassy Clown argues with King Carl. Each word's bold letter stands for an element. Sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium with the symbol K, and calcium. Let's start with sulfur, the first element in our final batch. It's bright yellow, distinct in smell, and plays a key role in both nature and industry. You'll find it in medicines, supporting healthy plant growth, and helping spark matches and ignition systems. Chlorine is a greenish-yellow gas with a sharp chemical scent you've probably smelled in a pool. It's a powerful disinfectant, used to clean water, make PVC plastics, and found in bleach and other cleaning products. Argon is a colorless, odorless, and totally unreactive gas, but put it in plasma lights, and it glows as sunning violet. It's used to protect light bulb filaments, insulate double-pane windows, and shows up in lasers and scuba gear. Potassium is a soft silver-gray metal, but drop it in water, it reacts explosively. Inside the body though, it's essential. It supports heart and muscle function, shows up in foods like bananas and potatoes, and gives fireworks that brilliant purple glow. Calcium is a dull gray metal, but don't let that fool you. It's essential for building strong bones and shells. Forms sturdy bones and teeth, strengthens cement and concrete, and shows up in foods like dairy, tofu, and leafy greens. 20 elements decoded, remembered, and ready for action. And this is just the beginning. Up next, we'll learn how these elements are grouped and what their positions on the periodic table can tell us. This is Learning with G. See you in the next lesson.